How's it going, everybody? Doing a gum chewing ramble here today. I'm also going to. I was asked about an unpopular opinions video. I haven't responded to the comment yet. I know they asked for that. I remember too when I saw the comment again. I remember thinking about it and forgetting about it because I'm constantly forgetting about videos I should make. But I'm going to do the ramble today and I'll, I'll respond to that comment. Or I could put it in the title, maybe, I don't know. But, uh, unpopular opinions, like some of my unpopular um, opinions that I have. It's hard, and I, I remember thinking about this. Um, when they had first asked, like I said, I had forgotten. But I was thinking, I was waffling on doing it because... We're doing it as a standalone video because I don't have, in my opinion, I don't have a lot of, like, unpopular opinions. I have some, and I'll talk about them um, in this vid. Throw some tapping on the old Siberia case. I did a drink review with the, uh, the monster drink. This camera's gonna probably shut off again. It's the camera. Um, the camera can't handle itself, so I'm gonna have to get a new webcam at some point. It shut off after like eight minutes. I tried again, it shut after three, and I had like no drink left, so. I still like the uh, monster uh, ultra strawberry dreams. I gave it a nine, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I was eating some pretzels too, and it was like, ah, oh, yeah. And then I started rambling about the Cowboys, which I supposed to still do here. But, listen, hey, give this video a like. Let's try to get this video some serious likes and maybe push it in the algorithm. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, unpopular opinions. Uh, my one big one is The Dark Knight, the second of the Christopher Nolan ones. I think it's overrated. As fuck, I always have. People were kind of boning over it, and then he Fletcher died, and it like pushed it. It was like Kurt Cobain dying. Hell of a talent, Kurt Cobain, right? Hell of a songwriter. <clears throat> and they were popular. I remember I was around for it. They were extremely popular, but when he died, it was like they were the greatest band to ever exist. Um, Mike Patton has a line in one of the songs. I think it's Star AD on King for a Day, Full for a Lifetime, where he's like, when you die, you become something worse than dead. You become a legend. What Kurt Cobain has become now, he absolutely would would hate. <clears throat> People wearing shirts, not knowing who the band are. You know, just, it, it, he would hate what he's become. Um, I know Nirvana as well for me. That's another, I'll get back to the Dark Knight in a minute, but now I've... In my opinion, I thought Nirvana was kind of overrated. And I like some of their stuff. Like, I like I like quite a bit of their songs. <clears throat> but, like, out of those bands, Soundgarden, I think, is better. Alice in Chains, I think, is better. I'm not a huge on Pearl Jam. The first two albums are great, but... And who else is there? Like, it was Mud Honey and Screaming Trees from there as well. The Melvins. Um, I just thought, you know, I think... Like I said, songwriting, he's great. And he's got some, he had some really good lyrics as well, like, kind of goofy and weird and, and stuff, which I can appreciate. Um, some are very straightforward as well. Um, but he was uh, a hell of a talent, but man, they got pushed, like, they were all over MTV after, because they had, before Dave Grohl got there, it was just him, Kurt Cobain, Chris Novoselic, Chris Novoselic, Chris um, they had a uh, Bleach, which is a good album too. And then Nevermind came out, and, you know, really good album as well. I, my personal favorite album by them. I hate to say Incesticide because Incesticide is like just B sides and covers, but there's some good shit on there. Um, and they do do good covers. It might be in utero, I guess. Like Penny Royalty might be my favorite. 
song by them, but I just thought they were overrated back then too. I really did when everybody, and then he died and they became even somehow more overrated. Unpopular opinion, maybe. I think a lot of people actually think that. They don't deny the talent. I think they just, they were, when he died, it was just like they were gods. Like they were the, the greatest band since the Beatles after he died. And I'm not a big Beatles fan either. That could be another popular opinion. Can't deny the talent. I just, I don't know. Same thing for Tool, if you want to talk about that. And I know Tool, some Tool, my, some of my friends love Tool. Never got into them. I think Perfect Circle's better. <laughs> you know what? I can't say from a talent standpoint because I'd be lying. Once again, Tool has tons of talent. I just don't get it sometimes with the way people obsess over them. Some of their music pours the shit out of me, honestly. But then some of their songs are awesome, you know, like, <laughs> but I just, you know, but there's bands I like that people be like, what the fuck, you know, like, <laughs> that's why people have the opinions, but I thought to Tool was, and same thing with, I think Down is better than Pantera. I'm going to talk about Glam era Pantera, but. Um, but Dark Knight. I, it, I, I think Batman Begins is a better movie. I do not think The Dark Knight Rises. I saw it in the theater and Bane starts talking. I look at my friend. I'm like, why does he sh sound like Sean Connery? Even then, and I tried watching The Dark Knight Rises again and I couldn't get through it. Um, but the, the Dark Knight, I, I, you would think it was the greatest movie ever made. Mm -hmm. And Heath Ledger did a great job. I'm not going to deny any of the acting. Well, they acted like, once again, like it was the greatest thing ever. I don't know if I got the corpse points because he died. And everybody's like, oh shit. He's at a level where I love it now. He died, so it's now reached a new peak. I think that movie's overrated. Um, I am the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> So I'd probably get shit for that. So if people give me shit in the comments, it's going to happen. I didn't hate the movie. I just, I think Batman Begins is superior to both of them. <clears throat> so I guess the unpopular opinion is I think it's overrated and I think Batman Begins is better than it. I'm not going to argue who's the best Joker ever. I love Nicholson's Joker. I think his legend did a great job as the Joker. But once again, I think it's more... The problem is everybody starts bumping it up like it's the greatest and then you see it and you're like, it's not. It's good, but it's not the greatest. I think that's also partly me because I can't get that excited about a lot of things. I just don't. There's a few things I do, but but once again, here we go. I think the Blair Witch is the greatest thing ever. Other people will think I'm a bozo for thinking that, you know. That's just how it goes, right? But those are unpopular opinions. Like I said, I don't have a ton, though. I think Tool is a bit overrated. And some of their songs bore the shit out of me. But I do... My favorite songs by them are probably Eulogy and Undertow. <clears throat> Eulogy, I just... You know, I, I will give Tool a thing that's cool about them. is that a lot of their songs kind of... And Eulogy kind of has that, especially the beginning of it. It has that haunting, creepy vibe, which I appreciate in songs. I just think they're overrated. Actually, we're actually going to see Perfect Circle to uh, Primus. I'm really excited for Primus and uh, Posa for Maynard's other third side man. Or second side man. Um, in Foxwoods in April at Foxwoods. And I've heard some Posa for and kind of liked it, but I always used to call him Tool Jr. to piss my friends off because they liked him. <laughs> That's a thing I do. If someone likes something, I'll rag on it on purpose just to annoy the shit out of them. But I will equally rag on the shit I like. <laughs> um, but, uh, I didn't... <clears throat> I, I, I like them. I like Perfect Circle more than Tool. But I can't... See, that's why I can't say it's in a popular opinion. Because I can't sit here and say Puss of Perfect Circle is the more talented band. Because Tool has a ton of talent. What's the drummer's name? Danny Carey. Pff, one of the best. Maynard's obviously has an amazing voice. One of the best as well. 
Is Justin Chamberlain the bass? I know he's not the original bassist. I think the original bass is from uh, Undertow and uh, what was before it? There was something before it. Was it more of an EP, the album before it? What the hell is it called? Damn it. <clears throat> he's not, he's in ministry now, I think. And uh, Adam Jones, the guitarist. And he's a solid guitarist too, but I don't know. And once again, maybe it's because it, it, they're treated like gods. And I'm like, what? I'm expecting godlike music, which you're never going to get from anybody. Um, why can't I remember the name of that first album? That's annoying. I think it was just an EP, right? Was it a full album? I have to find out now. I can't buy Like I said, I'm not a massive Tool fan. I can't even name all their albums. Wait, can I? Undertow. Fear Inoculum was the newest one, right? Lateralis, 10,000 Days. There's something else in there as well. I don't know what it's called, though. Um, no. They're, they have, like, what, seven albums over 50 years? <clears throat> what was the name of that first album? Opiate? Was that was it called? Opiate? <clears throat> I don't, was that a full album or not? I don't know. That one was kind of cool, too, because it's more raw. And I think Undertow was a little more raw, and I think it got more... Almost, I hate to say robotic, but so I'll probably eat shit for that. Um, that in the Dark Knight, I don't, and Nirvana, like I, I don't, I, I mean, I probably think of something else. I don't know. I can't even something food related, maybe I don't know. What are some of the opiate undertow? There was something before lateralis, or was ten thousand days then lateralis? If you go opiate undertow lateralis ten thousand days, if you're not, is there two more? I don't know the names of all the albums. <laughs> I've heard a lot of them because my friend will play at work because he's a huge fan, and you know from back in the day and stuff. I will say their videos were creepy as shit because <laughs> I know I think Adam Jones right worked on movies and stuff. I think he worked on like Jurassic Park was like the last thing before he got the call, right? I can't deny the talent though. Like once again, like that's why I can sit here and say it was an unpopular opinion, I guess. But I can't, I'm not going to sit here and say they suck. I'm not going to be like people saying the Cowboys suck today. Someone said that they don't suck the Cowboys. They just can't get it done in the playoffs anymore. I guess they suck in the playoffs. They don't suck in the regular season. Oh. My friend would be pissed. I don't know all the names. Of the Ladder House, 10,000 Days. Opiate Undertow. Fear and Oculum was the last one. And Fear and Oculum, like, th that album took, what, like 12 years to make? <laughs> Whatever the hell it was. And I listened to it. I'm like, eh, it's all right. I don't know. It just, it sounds like one long song. What are their other albums called? Um, I gotta look it up. I remembered Opiate. They have two more, right? They have seven. I gotta see the other two. But I know they're fans. Like, it's not all of them, obviously. Well, Enema. Enema was the one after Undertow, right? What was the other one? Was that it? Ladder House, Fear Knockin' 3, Underdo 4, 10,000 Days 5, Opiate 6. It is an EP, Opiate 6. Am I not forgetting something? I thought they had more albums than that. Five studio albums. Really? And two EPs. I thought they had more than that. <laughs> but yeah. Those are some unpopular opinions. <clears throat> if you want to give me shit. They're like unpopular opinions, but I can't deny talent of things, or if something was good, I just think some things are overrated. Overrated opinions? I don't know. Um, Cowboys. Uh, obviously, they lost to the Packers. I will do a full review. If this happens to turn off because of the camera, then the video turned off. Um, the Cowboys. They lose by 16. They were getting destroyed. They got garbage touchdowns in the fourth quarter to kind of make it somewhat interesting. 
But uh, eight note home, and they, it's I knew it too because I was watching the game cast on ESPN and the, the website. The little football going through, <laughs> and Green Bay scored in their first drive. I was like, it could be one of those games, and it was. I don't know what the Cowboys' problem is. Like they have the talent, they just they get to the playoffs, and they have this weird like losing culture in the playoffs, such as the Broncos have in the regular season now, or the Jets. Certain teams, Bears, whatever. That's hard to get past. The Cowboys can't get through. They can get there to the playoffs, but they get to the playoffs and they like, I don't know, it's got to be a mental thing too, right? Similar to the Colts with Manning for a bit, but the Colts still went to two Super Bowls, so you know what, you can't say that. I think the Colts underachieved in the playoffs with a lot of, you know, one and dones, but they did go to two Super Bowls and won one of them. And I think they had, they had an AFC championship appearance in there as well. A third one where they lost to the Patriots. I know they destroyed Denver in the playoffs twice. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's weird with the Cowboys. Like, it's got to be a mental thing. Like, maybe they do need the right coach. I think Jerry Jones, Jerry Jones is the GM, right? He's a, that guy always thinks he knows what he's doing. It's like, dude. You haven't even made an NFC Championship since the 95 season. It was, would have been 96, but the Championship Series with the season. It's like, just stop, dude. And give... He needs to take less focus, I think, because he's one of those owners that has to be involved. He's the one who's getting interviewed at halftime. Like, what? And he'll get interviewed. And like, it's like this. Maybe they do. Maybe they need a new owner. It's weird with the Cowboys. But you would think since the 95, they would have. Or did they? No, they didn't make a championship after that. Right? Like they didn't. I know they won the Super Bowl 95, the season 96 Super Bowl against the Steelers. But 96 season, they didn't make the. They made the playoffs, right? But isn't that when they. I can't remember. Maybe they did, actually. I could be wrong. Did they play the. Uh, no. They didn't play the Packers, did they? I can't remember. I'm going to go, you know what? Maybe it was a Cowboys fan, let me know, because I can't remember. I know they lost to the Cardinals in, like, the 97 season, maybe? I'm going to look up 1996. Well, I'm going to look up 96. It's going to be the Cowboys and whoever they played. They beat up the Vikings, apparently. No, wait, they beat them in the first one. Oh, no, okay. This is showing the, uh... Oh, that's when Jacksonville upset Denver. Oh, looking at it, it's those things. No, they did not. They lost to Carolina in the second the divisional round. It was Carolina versus the Packers. Um, <clears throat> in the championship. NFC championship. But yeah, it's weird. Like, I, I don't hate the Cowboys. Like, I'm not one of those people that, oh, I, like, it's awesome. They lost. Sweet. And sometimes it's funny. But it doesn't, it doesn't, if they won the Super Bowl, it wouldn't affect me in any way. I have no ill will against the Cowboys as a franchise. <clears throat> I think it's just every sport has a team. It's like the Lakers, the Yankees, the Dodgers now. Hockey, I don't think hockey necessarily has one as much. I think hockey's more of the, you know, like if you're in, in the Islanders division, like a lot of teams will want to see the Penguins lose or the Islanders or the Rangers or the, you know, the Capitals or whatever. I think it goes by division and like division rivalries where you want to see shit to bed. And that's natural because you're rivals, right? Um, basketball. Is the Lakers. And that's me. Well, he was even the Lakers before LeBron. But then LeBron goes there and it gets extra hatred. LeBron has like half the people who can't stand him. Half the people love him. <laughs> um, can't deny his talent either, right? But, um, um, is another unpopular opinion. I, I like saying anger. I think St. Anger's a good album by Metallica. The drums are annoying as shit, but solid album. Um, I'm 
Speaking of the Dodgers, <clears throat> everybody's flipping out because they signed uh, Otani and then they got that other pitcher from Japan. I forget his name. The Cubs got the other guy from Japan who the Dodgers thought they were going to get too. And everybody's like, ah, here we go. Whatever. Here's the thing. You, and, and I know as someone who followed the Yankees and was a fan, a serious fan back in the day, up until like whenever the hell, I probably stopped giving a shit about the Yankees in like the mid-2000s. You know, what I like to say, I, I just don't care about baseball from a team standpoint enough. I will follow and stuff, but I don't invest enough in any team anymore. And even when I liked the Yankees at my peak, I wasn't like, I would get upset when they lose, but not. I'd be like, Meh. Out, of all the, out of all the sports, that would be the one that affected me the least back then. But people, same thing with the Yankees. Everybody hated them. They buy players, blah, 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 right? Same thing with the Dodgers. Here's the thing. If the Dodgers, the Dodgers are taking that risk because it's not a guarantee they win shit. Okay, you've seen the Dodgers have had great teams for now, what, 10 years more maybe? And they have the one 2020 bizarro season from COVID that they won. <clears throat> you know, the weird, they should have just called that, like, they shouldn't even have called that a World Series. They should have had something else. Before. They played like, what, the teams played 60 games. And that goes for whoever would have won it. <clears throat> but they haven't won a 162 game World Series since 82. 88, sorry, 82, 88. Um, but people, for whatever reason, hate the Dodgers, right? I don't have much hatred for the Dodgers either. I don't, why would I? I don't know. But here's the thing if the Dodgers don't win it with these guys they get, they're going to get ragged on even more than they already do. So they're taking that risk. Now, from the owner's standpoint and stuff, doesn't really matter. If you're a fan of the team, you're already eating shit. And you can come back at them. But the second you don't, the team doesn't win it, these fans are going to pile on more. If they say they don't win a title with Otani, they will be looked at as the greatest failures of all time, right? They're taking the risk. So you could say they spend the money, but they're also taking a serious risk as a franchise and the fan base. Because if they don't win every time... They do not win. <clears throat> They're going to get destroyed. The media probably will too. I don't know. Sports media. But you take the risk. Now the Yankees have had a lot more success than the Dodgers. Back even back in the, you know, the 90s and the early 2000s. Although they haven't won one since 09. But you know, they would sign whoever. Teams, guys want to play for these teams. They'll throw money at them. Players want to play for these franchises. That's how it goes. You know, but you're a fan of these teams. You kind of know what's coming. You can sit here and be like, 27 world titles that the Yankees like to do. Fans do. It's like, I had never said that. Jokingly, I might have said it to my Met fan friends back in the day. Just, just a joke, just to be annoying. But here's the thing. I was not alive for 90% of their titles. <laughs> so they don't they do not do anything to me. I'm going to be like, you know, those, those Yankees teams in the 40s were incredible. I wasn't around. Why am I going to brag about something I wasn't around for? You just inherited an awesome team that you ended up liking that won so many titles and I'm going to talk shit about it. No. You know, I was alive for the three, the, the three in the 90s, 2000 and 09. Uh, and they, they didn't win in 80, right? Did they? Or did they lose to the Dodgers? I can't remember. I've like, when I, when you, when you start to like detach from sports, you, I used to know like, stuff and then you kind of start to forget 77 or something their last title 78 before the 90s <clears throat> but you take it on though as a fan of those teams you know other fan bases that you don't win they're going to give you shit and then you're going to bounce back with the 27 titles and you know what other fan bases don't give a shit about that because like I said you're not alive for most of them You know, if you're 90 years old now and you're alive for a shit ton of them, you can talk more shit. I don't know if Canadian fans do that in hockey. Because they have 20 plus titles as well. I don't know. <laughs> or if they're a little more uh, rational about the fact that they probably weren't alive for most of them. Um... It would, 
be like me. You can appreciate it as a fan. You can go back and look at the history, but I'm not going to use that as a bragging point. With the Islanders, I was born in 79. I was alive for the four Islanders Cups, but I was not a fan. <laughs> you know, it's cool to look back and be like, holy shit, this team went to five Cups in a row. They essentially like passed the torch to Gretzky. They destroyed him in their fourth Cup, and then they got destroyed the next year and kind of passed the torch to them. On a bunch. It's cool to know, but it's like Portland. I wasn't alive when they won. Well, they won in 77. I wasn't alive. I, I talked about that in the past. I made the wrong decision. I was deciding between San Antonio and Portland when I became a fan. Oh, I chose San Antonio. <laughs> this would have been in like 91. So Portland had more success at, right at that point. That's how it goes, all right. But yeah, every team has a sport. Except I'd say... The only one I wouldn't say doesn't have it is, is... I feel like hockey doesn't really have any... Does hockey... I know a lot of people hate Vegas, but... Whatever. That doesn't seem like... I think there's like a true hatred for the hate. The Yankees and the Dodgers and the Cowboys. Like, people will get on, like, the Pats and, and the, the Chiefs, but that's more success than... The Cowboys are just hated by so many fans. <laughs> they're, just, they're just hated. Maybe it's the America's team thing. I don't know. What's the other sport? Oh, basketball is the Lakers. <laughs> um, and the Lakers even before LeBron got there. Because I feel like the Lakers get hated on more than like the Celtics. I don't hear a lot of people just ragging on the Celtics constantly for no reason. That's sports though. Almost done with uh, Assassin's Creed Mirage. I'm, I'm doing a bunch of shit, and I think I'm going into the kind of end game investigations. I might do a review on it. I don't know. Mm. Well, it's nice to know this thing hasn't shut off again after 20 plus minutes. Um, so this is gonna be a. I, I'm gonna have to end up getting a new camera, but just kind of like a, this worries me if I want to do a gameplay and it shuts off because that's gonna start to piss me off. I didn't do enough tapping here, so I apologize. I start rambling. sudden someone makes fun of it and you're like oh my god no how dare you <laughs> one day we'll all get robotic like and just be like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your team will win and you'll just be like yay the team you lose and you'll be like oh and that's it that's the extent of it and you move on that's what happened to me in a lot of ways I'm surprised it happened with football but I gotta say I think Seattle obliterating Denver in that Super Bowl really it tore a lot out of me because I was just so pissed and then I'm like what am I doing I've seen them win and then they end up winning even when they beat the Panthers I was like cool but I wasn't over the moon like I was when they won the back-to-back -back ones against the Packers and the Falcons you know and after that I was just like mm. you know and even like basketball baby I mean Portland has not been they had some decent years, but they, you know, they suck this year. They were, which is, I, I was wrong on them. I thought they would compete for a playoffs, but I thought they had some talent. They've had some injuries, but they suck. There are some bad teams in the NBA this year. Holy shit. Pistons with their three wins. San Antonio has seven. I think Charlotte has eight. Another team has, like, Washington, I think. I don't know how many they have. They're terrible, too. Like, Portland has ten wins, and there's four other teams that have less wins than them. That's crazy. And Portland, I didn't realize Portland has a... I know they they made a bunch of trades and they had picks. I didn't I couldn't remember what. They have Golden State's first round pick. I think that was via Boston or somebody else. So I'm kind of rooting for the Golden State to start doing worse too, and, and Portland get like two maybe top fifteen picks. Try to rebuild the team. 
I mean, when your team starts to suck, it's hard to get to stay into them. with the Islanders in the nineties. They had some success, and I was like, cool. And then they sucked for seven years, and you go like three years into them sucking, four years, and you're like, you eventually like, I can't be bothered, you know. And I had that with Denver even back after Plummer left, you know, the, the year before they got a. Uh, Von Miller was the, the high pick. They sucked, and you know what? I was like, you know what? I know they're gonna suck, and I didn't get invested. You watch and you see, but you when your team's terrible, you go into the season with a different mindset. So that's where I will say for Cowboys fans and other fans in other sports, expectation is the worst thing for a sport fan because you're just building yourself up for bullshit. You'd rather just go into the season with like, oh, they could fight for a playoff spot type scenario, and then they make a run, you know, instead of. They're, they're, they're heads and shoulders, the best team in the league, and then they win five games. Kind of like when Denver got Russell Wilson the first year they had him last year. Now, I wasn't like, oh, my God. I was like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, maybe they make the playoffs. And then they immediately sucked, and I'm just laughing my ass off. I'm like, oh, there, there you go. You know, that's how it goes. Um, it's freezing out today. I know it's freezing, like, everywhere. It's like 10 degrees here today, it feels like. I know some places like negative 20, negative 30. It's supposed to snow tonight, I think, a little bit. Like one to three inches, nothing crazy. And right then turned to rain, so we're going to get some ice, which is worse than the snow. I'm going to probably... Monday's going to be a double-up video day. I think. All right, this is good. So if this shuts off now, I'm not going to care. At 32 minutes. I feel like it was shut off at this point. But you never know. Let's say I got some unpopular opinions in there, you know. Um, but I can't. The thing is, with my unpopular opinions, like, I'm not going to go to bat for them. If someone tells me The Dark Knight's the greatest movie ever and here's the reasons why, I'm not going to argue because I don't care enough, you know. That's the problem. Like, my, I'm not strong in my opinions enough to, like, battle them out because at the end of the day, I don't care. You know, I'm going to tell you how I feel and that's it. I'm, I'm not going to say you should feel the same way I do. But it also comes down to being logical or reasonable or whatever. Like, yeah, I think tools are overrated. They have incredible talent, though. Like me saying, like if I sat here and said, I could be like, yeah, I like Perfect Circle more. But for me to say Perfect Circle has more talent musically than Tool would realistically be a lie. And if I sat here and said, The Dark Knight's a bad movie, that'd be a lie. Because it was fine. I just think it's overrated. And I think Batman, if you want to sit here and say, me, the unpopular opinion is... Batman Begins, in my opinion, is the best movie out of the three. Dark Knight Rises, I gotta say, though, is almost... I can't... Like I said, it's almost, the second time I, I was like, this is unwatchable, almost. Like, it was, like, almost too goofy. I don't know. Maybe that's more of an unpopular opinion than The Dark Knight. Probably not, though. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I don't have a lot of them, though. I don't... Because I feel like if you have, like, an unpopular, you have to really be strong behind it. I don't like, someone's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm not going to argue with you because I don't care enough about that, my own opinion, that's the best part, I don't care enough about my own popular opinion to argue about it, <laughs> I'm also not great to argue. I was listening to some uh, Yakuza Like a Dragon soundtrack because the battle themes in that game, the one is amazing and some of the other ones are really good too. And I had forgotten Infinite Wealth comes out in like two weeks. And I was like, shit, I might have to get that for $70 right out of the gate because it looks cool and I really like Like a Dragon's battle system because it's different than a lot of the other Yakuza games. Um, and they're bringing back all the people from like a dragon, I know Kiryu's in there as well, and he's obviously in all the other games, but, um, I don't know, is there a few that he doesn't pop up in, I don't know, and obviously,
has Ichiba on his back. And then his friends, I can't remember their names, from uh, Like a Dragon. That game's great. And all of them, too. The ones I've played, at least. They're, like, serious, half serious, half goofy as shit. <laughs> I think Like a Dragon's the one where you fight the giant Roomba, right? <laughs> Like, it sucks in, like, a cat stole a fish from a guy. It sucks in both, and it sucks in somebody else, and you gotta fight him. <laughs> um, but yeah. This is a great tapping thing. Makes a good sound. Enjoyable game, I like it. You know, I'll, I'll probably do a review on it and talk more about the positives and, and negatives of that game. Um, I'm trying to get back into the eBay kick a little bit here. I think I talked about that in the first few months of the year. I sold my, I listed two things, sold them both. One was my, for my fiance, though. It was her Animal Crossing for the DS. as well. I had sold a Knights of the Old Republic that I'd gotten at the, the garage sale with those other games, the NES and Xbox games, because I already have Knights of the Old Republic, so. But I'm going to look at some other stuff, and, and, and you know, just to kind of obviously make a couple extra bucks, just to make a couple extra bucks, and then uh, clear out a little bit of space. She'll let you pet her belly occasionally. She doesn't like really bite, but she like rolls over. Um, I kind of want to say the movie Argyle looks decent. It's that kind of genre, that kind of storyline plot that's been done before, but it looks decent. Like I said, that Strangers prequel comes out like. I think it's a prequel. I think it was like called Stranger's First Night or some shit. I didn't realize this, but uh, I saw the trailer popped up on Instagram or maybe it was YouTube. That I was like YouTube actually. The second Halo season starts in February. I think I talked about Halo. I think I was reviewing some of the episodes. That show kind of sucked. They did. They went all over the place. But man, when they did the action scenes. Like, the, the one in the first episode, and then the, the really cool one. I think it was the fifth episode, and then there's one at the end. I think the last episode. Really was well done. I know this one from the trailer. It's going to be on Reach, but I don't know if Noble Team's even there, which is weird. You know, you could argue they showed Master Chief's face way too. Like, he wears, he doesn't wear the suit more than he, like, he's out of the suit more than he is. You see his head all the time. And then they did the thing where, like, I think he has sex with the character in season one. It's like, no, Master Chief only to be with his AI Cortana. I'm pretty sure at the end of the season, Cortana like, Cortana, like, took him over. Or some shit. They went all over the place. Um, I liked parts of it, but overall, I was like, yeah, but I wanted to see if they would improve upon it in the second season, so. Some of the changes, I didn't, not changes, but things they added, I didn't mind, but then it was like, some of it was like, what? <laughs> We're not gonna probably see the flood, though, again, if they're doing the Reach stuff. If they do a season three, I guess that would be like combat evolved. I don't know. 
Because in the in the the games, right? He didn't even pop up on Reach. There was no Noble team, and then they they're transporting him because he's like the one. He's like the best, and he's the the, the biggest chance. I don't know. I, I guess from the it looked from the trailer like there was other Spartans in it. Oh, who the hell knows? It's weird that they show him so much outside of the suit, at least with the helmet off too. Even like, just have him in the helmet most of the time. Even if you wanted to show his face like they did in the first season, like in the first person kind of look, it shows fine, but... I mean, I understand, you have to show him. It's not gonna be like the game, you just keep him in the helmet all the time, but... You think they would have done it more, but... There was some cool, like that one battle scene, I think it was episode five, was really cool. Where the guy that the Marine gets hit with the Needler, and the grunt hijacks the Warthog, then gets kicked out by Master Chief. And then the Brute used the gravity hammer and smashes him, sends him flying. I was like, this is cool. I understand the budget probably isn't massive either, so it's hard to do a lot of that shit. But we'll see what happens in this one. I mean, obviously, I think everybody died on Noble Team except with the one guy, right? The sniper, I forget his name. So I'm pretty sure he left at the end. And I don't know if he's mentioned in any other ones. I don't know like a lot about the books either. But, but I was, I was, I was, because I was looking up the flood stuff. Because the flood's awesome. Like <laughs> the first hey, Halo when you encounter the flood, you're like, what the hell is this? It goes from like a sci fi shooter to a sci fi horror game. And you're like, yes, this is awesome. And apparently in the books, like Master Chief, when he first encounters the flood, he's like, he actually. Like, he actually feels fear, and he doesn't, like, understand it, I think. If he's like, what the hell is this new feeling? He's like, oh, shit, what the hell are these things doing? Because the flutter essentially were endless. You have to literally just, like, trap them somewhere. That's why the Halo rings were made, to wipe out, to wipe out everything but the flood, so the flood had nothing to eat or, or take over. Um, but I kind of want to see what they do with season two. I'll always give it a show a shot. I still have to finish up actually Witcher season three. I watched a few episodes and I wasn't even hating it. I just, that's what happens with me sometimes. I just stop watching it and never go back to it. I know obviously uh, Henry Cavill is not in season four. They've, they've casted some people for season four. So I would assume season four is actually going to be about the, I forget which book it starts in where. Geralt meets up with his crew, his fellowship, so to speak. It was like Milva. Obviously, Dandelion's in there, Regis, the vampire. I think Lawrence Fishburne got cast as him. Um, who else was with this group? Milva was the... I forgot what was, was she an elf? I don't know if she was an elf, but she actually got... Um, adopted or something. Was Regis, but there was another person in there. Oh, I forget her name. She came along a little later than the original people. I forget her name. Someone with an A, maybe? It's been a while since I read the books. I'm, I'm, I'm... And K, K here. K here. Although he was in the, uh, the show. So I don't know if they're using him. They kind of used him the same way in the show. But I, I wonder if, like... By the next season, or maybe it happens in the third, I don't know. He'll be part of his group at the end. Moving into next season, I don't know. Or starting next season. Because there was a cool there was a there's a cool part in the book. There's a couple of cool parts in the one book. I can't remember which one it was. There's one where Geralt's fighting like with uh, alongside other soldiers in a tight battle with other soldiers, and he's like not used to it. Because he's used to like either fighting one on one or monsters, and it's like this is a close hand-to-hand -hand kind of action. You're like in tight quarters and shit. And they actually explained one of the things that, like, I guess they would have, like, certain things on their shields in the tight battle so you would kind of know who was on your side. So you think back to battles back in the day where hundreds of people are just in each other's faces stabbing each other. You wouldn't even know who you were stabbing half the time. And there's another cool part where he, I think it's where he thinks Ciri's dead. And he goes on this rant where he's like, we're going to start killing, like, everyone. They're going to talk about us in Legends when they're, they're going to put their kids to sleep and tell them we're going to come get them. And if you're, like, to punish their kids, all this weird shit he goes on this rant where they're going to kill everyone. And there's going to be Legends about their, like, reign of terror. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, those books are really good. Like I said, I haven't read them in a while, so I can't remember. 
like some follow the full path of him trying to find Siri and everything else with his group. And then there's all the ones that are all like little stories in them. Like The Last Wish, I'm pretty sure, is all stories. And I think Storm of, this is called Storm of Seasons is all stories as well. Um, but yeah, I'll probably stop this now at 45 minutes. And uh, it ended up being a long ramble with some unpopular opinions there at the beginning. I feel like I didn't have enough to, to do a full length video. I guess I could have rambled on about the ones, which I did for a little bit anyway. But throw them in there. So I might say a long ramble with unpopular opinions mixed in but uh yeah uh, thanks everybody for checking this out and have a